All right, we're trying this again. Welcome to Thriver Thursday Live. I'm hoping that the visuals come through this time. They weren't coming through before. It looks like it should be good now. Okay, goody, 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 yay. All right, ladies, I hope that you are here with me. We are good to go now. Okay. Welcome to Thriver Thursday Live, the place to be to learn powerful business strategies and to grow in our walk with the Lord. I'm so excited because today I'm bringing you a special masterclass and I'm actually going to share my screen for this. So real exciting stuff. Make sure I have the right one here. Move this over. All right. I want to see if you are and now there's a delay but i want to make sure that you are seeing my correct screen and as you're jumping on oh hi clark how are you hon oh goody 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 we are good to go we are good 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 all right so listen ladies today's all about high ticket revenue model five steps to make it happen i'm going to move fast but i really hope that you embrace this for yourself because it's an easier way to do business. And to me, that's better because I don't need to work 10, 12, 14 hour days, right? I'm sure Clark doesn't want to do that either. So we're going to begin with um, a question. And whether you're here with me live or in the replay, I'd love you in the comments to, uh, to answer this question. Hey, Morelli, how are you? What is your revenue model? What is your revenue model? If you don't know what I mean, just write, write, what do you think I mean by that? Like, what is your business model? Okay. And I don't mean, are you an LLC or an S-Corp? I mean, how are you generating money? Right? Like maybe you're an agency or maybe you're a consultant. Okay. That's your business model. Hi, Marilyn. Glad you're here, hon. But what is your revenue model? Like, how are you bringing in money? Okay, I want you to think about that because here's what the average business does. The average business uses this value ladder. And I think, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. I actually use it too. But here's how the average business owner uses this value ladder. And then I'm going to tell you how I want you to use this value ladder. Okay. Most businesses start down here with their $7, $27, $49 thing, right? Lower value, lower price, okay? Because we're going to trade value for value, okay? Then you go up from there to a $99, and then maybe a $500, $1,000, on up to $5,000, $10,000 or whatever, right? So that as you go up the ladder, there's a higher value and, of course, the higher price. But here's the thing. Most business owners start low. They start with that $27 product. And I want to tell you why that's a problem. Because at the same time, they're working from a $27 product. And let me just say this disclaimer. I know there are millionaires who have become millionaires on a $27 product. But they had at that time a rather large following and tens of thousands on their email list. So then that's possible, right? But when someone right out of the gate thinks that they're going to generate five and $10,000 months on a $27 product, or even a 49 or a 99, we're gonna do the math here, ladies. Um, the problem with that is it takes a lot of transactions, takes a lot of sales. And if there's one thing I know from talking to hundreds and hundreds, I'm sure thousands of women by now over the years, sales is typically not something that ladies like look forward to. It's not something that innately comes natural. I mean, it really does the way I teach it, but with our mindset and our belief systems that we've been raised in with that, you know, smarmy, slimy, greasy car salesman. Sales is not something that, you know, a lot of women like want to do. So the idea of having tons of transactions or tons of sales isn't great. And here's what's even worse. You need more leads. If you have this many transactions, you need even more leads to get those sales. Does that make sense? All right. So we're going to do the math. If you have a monthly revenue goal of five grand and your offer is a $27 offer, 
You need to have 185 sales that month to hit the 5K. Now, the average conversion rate is one in six of your audience are ready to buy, okay? So that would mean six times that 185 means you have to have well over a thousand people that are looking at your offer. Maybe you have that, okay? Maybe. You got to talk to or have contact with well over a thousand to get 185. You following the math? And let's say, well, Judy, I'm better at sales than that. I don't have, it's not one in six for me. It's one in four. Okay. Then you still have to talk to 740 or touch them in some way, like 740 sets of eyeballs to get 185 sales. Now, instead of starting low, if you start high, and let's say you have a $5,000 product instead of a $27 product, then how many clients do you need that month? One, doesn't that feel good? So let's continue with this math equation, right? I'm not really great with math. That's why I wrote this out so I wouldn't mess up, okay? So if your conversion rate is one in six, so you need to talk to six people for every one client, that means in that month, you need to talk to six people. Six instead of a thousand or 700, right? And that means that every week, right, six conversations a month divided by four weeks in a month, you have to have one to two conversations a week. How does that feel? I really want to see some comments there going on in the chat. Which of these scenarios feels easier? Okay. Now, I can hear it through the internet. You know, you might be saying, yeah, it seems easier, but I can't sell something for five grand. Stay with me, sister. I've got the solution and it's really straightforward. Own your worth. Someone please type that in the comments. Own your worth. Okay, here's a reality check, ladies. You don't have time to talk to tire kickers or freebie seekers. Am I right? So today, yes, Marilyn, charging high price. That's right. More money and fewer clients sound great, says Morelli. Awesome. Okay. So never fear. I'm taking you through it. Today, we're going to talk about the five steps to your high ticket revenue model. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do in each step. And let me tell you, what's at the foundation? Faith. Faith is the foundation, the very foundation of success in business and in life. Okay, own your worth, own your worth. Thank you, Clark, Morelli, Marilyn, you're on it. Okay, so let's pause to invite God in, then we're gonna jump in. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, God, that despite the tech issues that we've experienced this morning, that I am now live and presenting an important message, a message that you gave to me, and now I am blessed to deliver to your daughters, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, God. I prepared this, but if you want me to talk about something different, if you want to interject something, Lord, I am open. Holy Spirit, move. Um, Speak to the hearts and minds of the ladies listening and watching, whether they're now or on the replay. Lord God, we want to do your work here on earth. So help us to do that. And may this be a step in that direction. We thank you, God. We love you. And we praise you. It's in the mighty name of your son, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So you know how I just said, own your worth before we went to prayer? Well, here's a couple of great Bible verses, right? Our faith is grounded in absolute truth, the truth, capital T, of God's holy word. So when we feel less than, when we don't feel worthy, all we need to do is go to God and say, Lord, how do you see me? Okay. Luke 137, with God, nothing is impossible. Cling to that, ladies. One of my newest mantras, and it's going to be a staple to my business forever and ever, amen, is pursue the impossible. Are you ready to pursue the impossible? Let's do it together, okay? How about this one? I praise you, Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God made us special and unique. And what, what value does he put on us? Well, in Proverbs 31.10, he tells us, the noble woman is far more precious than rubies. Come on. 
And then, of course, my life verse, Ephesians 3.20. Now to him, the Lord Jesus Christ, who was able to do far more abundantly, way more than anything we can ask or even imagine. It's immeasurably more. And how does he do it? He does it according to the power at work within us his power at work within us. Hallelujah. I mean, there's got to be a hallelujah on that one. Okay. So the big question here, ladies, is you can have whatever business you want. You can start low and struggle and say, oh gosh, I got to talk to a thousand people and, you know, get these eyeballs on this $27 thing. Or you can say, I'm going to take an elevation of my business and I'm going to put together an amazing package of value that I'm going to offer the world at 5,000, knowing that it's valued for far greater, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this step. It's a leap of faith, right? But it's grounded in your expertise. If you're not an expert, if you're just a newbie and you really don't know what you're doing, I'm not talking to you. Let's be clear on that, okay? But this particular Facebook group, Faith Fueled Business Facebook group is full of women founders, experts, consultants, you know your stuff, right? So for you, the big question is, are you willing to surrender? Oh, that's so powerful. Are you willing to surrender your past hurts, your disappointments, your trauma, your abuse, neglect, any of these stories, and even these real life hurts that have impacted your life thus far? Are you going to give them all to the Lord? Because when you do, then you can step fully into who he made you to be and not allow that negative stuff that the enemy wants you to remember and wants you to dwell on. When you surrender that to the Lord, it opens you up to all kinds of possibilities and not the least of which is opens you up to pursue fully uh, your purpose, your God-given purpose here on the earth, right? So the big question is, Will you commit to saying no to the enemy, saying no to his lies and saying yes to the truth about who you are in Christ? Look, this may be some tough love here, ladies, but I've got to say it. There is no one or nothing holding you back except you. Mindset matters here, ladies. The mindset, your belief system needs to be grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ and nothing else. And in the promises that he gives in his holy word, which is with him, nothing is impossible. And even those things that we at one time and maybe even today think is impossible, it's not with him. If he's called you to this, he's promised to equip you to fulfill all of his amazing plans for you that he talks about in Jeremiah 29, 11. And so if today you're allowing anything on the screen right now to hold you back, generational beliefs, you know, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, you know, that was mine. You know, we were not rich. We never will be rich. People like us don't get rich. I mean, that's what I heard all my life. I didn't stay there. I don't want you to either. Okay. Fear of success, fear of failure, lack of motivation. Let me give you another truth bomb here, ladies. Nobody is motivated hundred percent of the time. Sometimes I wake up and I just can't wait to talk to my clients. Other times I'm like, wow, I wish I could just spend a day at the beach. And that's just normal. But are we going to allow that lack of motivated feeling prevent us from getting up and doing what we know we need to do? And what, and what once we get to it, we just love it because we know this is our life's purpose before the Lord, right? Are you playing the comparison game though, or dealing with imposter syndrome or doubt? God doesn't want you to experience anything on this screen. I know it, sister. I know it because he's called you to business. He's called you to do big things, okay? So I say it all the time. Mindset is the number one differentiator between thrivers and strugglers or even quitters. It is not how smart you are. If you are super smart, that doesn't mean you're going to make it in business as an entrepreneur. If you are super capable, or even if you are that expert, or even if you have a big network, none of that means that you will necessarily thrive in business, okay? What is required is commitment. Never say die. I'm in this, right? There is no plan B. What else? Discipline. Got to do what I don't want to do sometimes because I know I need to do it because I know this is what's going to take me to that next level. Okay. 
You need commitment. We need discipline. We need perseverance. I'm going to keep on going. I am going to keep on going, trusting. Even if I don't see it, I walk in faith, not in what I can see. Hallelujah. Right? And, and it's confidence. Even though we have those human doubts that pop up from now, now and again, it's confidence. And it's hopeful expectation, knowing this will work. And I don't care what your business has been up to this point. If you felt like, gosh, I'm working so hard, but it's not quite working, or you've hit that plateau, I've, I've gotten to six figures, but I can't get to multi six figures. Okay. It starts right here with what you see on this screen, commitment, discipline, perseverance, confidence, expectation. And again, the knowing the blind faith, if you will, knowing it's going to work. Okay. Bottom line, it's faith. That's what it is. So replace that, those negative things that I showed on a couple of screens before to everything you see here. This is your mindset. I am worthy. I am loved. You're optimistic. You know you're enough. You know that you are valuable. And you know you can do it. Everything's figure outable, right? You're faithful and you're self motivated because you know what God has given you. And so you are going to be that amazing steward in all of the gifts and the talents that He's given you. You got to believe, sister, and again, pursue the impossible. So let's dive into these five steps to your high ticket revenue and business model. Step one, you got to identify your brilliance. Okay. This is your zone of genius. This is your superpower. What are you really, really great at? Right. And what do you want to be known for? So, of course, you can't just say, I would like to be a ballerina if you've never taken a dance lesson, okay? Remember earlier I said, I'm looking for experts here. That's who I'm talking to. Those of you that have a special skill, a special um, background, experience, education, right? With all of that, you get to pick. There's lots of things I could be, perhaps, right? I know lots of women that are multi-passionate and God bless them so richly. Sometimes it's hard to say, well, what do I wanna focus on? But you get to decide, ladies, what do I wanna be known for, right? identify your brilliance. What lights you up? What would you do even if you didn't have to work? What do you love to do? How do you love to serve? That's identifying your brilliance, right? And to really be uh, honed in and to generate these six figures and multi six figure and, and seven figure business, you need to niche down. You need to get real specific and you need to be unique. Carve out a portion of your target audience and a portion of your market so that you do things differently than anybody else. Your approach is different. Your isms are different, right? You have your own brand dictionary, okay? And you have specific um, polarizing convictions about what you do, how you do it, about your industry, and so on, okay? So, what is this step all about? It's really about curating your brand. And that includes, you know, zeroing in on your ideal client. You can't work with everybody. You could, but that's, you know, if you're talking to the world, nobody's going to be listening. You've got to be specific. You've got to talk to the one, the power of one, right? And so your messaging has to um, really hit that one ideal client in two places, smack dab between the eyes, and right here in the heart. Okay. That's step one. All right. Step two, you've got to build your credibility. You got to put your expertise out there and not just like out there willy nilly and, you know, fly by the seat of your pants. Oh, no, 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 no. You're a thriving CEO. We don't operate like that. We're going to put your expertise out there exactly where your ideal client is because that's who we want to reach. Right. Tons of ways to build your credibility and establish you not only as an expert, but the expert for exactly what you do and how you serve the specific people that, that you do serve, right? So tons of ways you can do this. You could teach it via video like I'm doing right now. You can post articles on LinkedIn and other media publications, right? You can be a guest on podcasts. You could be a guest for blogs, right? You could vie for TV spots locally and then move on to regionally and even nationally. It's possible, right? How else do you establish credibility? Well, social proof is huge. So you've got to feature your testimonials and your client case studies. And there's nothing better than video testimonials, right? The key here, again, is to be exactly where your ideal client is. 
that's where you need to focus. And that takes intentionality and it takes strategic thinking and planning. Okay, how are we doing so far? Here we are on step three, product creation. Here's where we put together your high-end offer. And this is a critical spot, okay? This is a critical spot, the product creation. Because if you get this right and you package your expertise, your services, or perhaps products, depending on what you do, right? If you package this right and you price it effectively and your messaging is super dialed in, you got it. You are well on your way to six figures and multi and seven figures. If you can make effectively and generate consistent revenue month after month at 100K, there's no reason in the world why you can't later scale that and go as high as you want to go. Okay. So this product creation piece is ginormous. And uh, spoiler alert, because of this, I've decided to put together a special intensive opportunity. It's a beta, a new program that I'm doing, and I'm only allowing 20 ladies in. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a bit, but um, my academy members will be able to participate as well. Um, so no fear there. Um, but as far as new women coming in, I'm limiting it to 20. Uh, this is going to be an off the charts opportunity to get in on the ground floor with beta pricing and with one-on-one -on -one touch with me. But I'll talk about that in a second. But product creation is so important to getting your business up and running on a strong, on the strongest of foundations, right? So again, here's the mistake. Too many, start low. Yes, Karen, it is exciting. I hope that you would consider uh, jumping in as well. But the mistake with product creation that so many make is they start low. The, I'm gonna do a $197 course or maybe even a 497 course that may feel big to you and I get it. But here's the mistake. They spend so much time, weeks and maybe months, sometimes years. Yes, I've talked to ladies who have spent so much time getting it perfect, creating that course. They record the videos, they buy platforms to upload all the modules, and they post on social media all day, every day, and all these different platforms. And they buy funnel software and they set up email sequences, so much money and time spent before they've even sold one. That's, that's a problem, right? Again, they're spending tons of time and money before they've established their own credibility and authority and before they've even had proof of concept. Like, is this something that the market is looking for? And they make zero money. Meanwhile, they have all of that time and effort put into it. So I recommend that you start high. Let's start high because then we can build back low, okay? Once we have established ourselves as that credible expert. Once we have had proof of concept and we have consistent revenue coming in with wonderful clients who are willing to pay more so that we show up more, they show up more, they get the transformation and the result that, you, that they've been seeking and maybe haven't been able to before. And it's all because you took that step to create high ticket and you were very careful and intentional and strategic about your packaging, your pricing, pricing, and your positioning in the market. You never want to compete on price, ladies. You don't want to be the Walmart of your industry, okay? You want to be, um, you want to be, you know, the Bloomingdale's or the Neiman Marcus, or insert the name of your favorite. You know, I always say you want to be the Louis Vuitton of your market high value, sought after, exclusive, because you wanna work with those that are really serious. I know I do, okay? So with respect to each one of these, where packaging comes in, I'm talking value packed. Even if you price something at 5,000 or 10,000 or maybe 20,000, we wanna be strategic and make sure that the value of that is even more like two, three, four, five times more so that it's a no brainer. Even though the price is high, your audience, your ideal client looks at it and says, oh my goodness, I get to work with her and I get all of this inside to end up getting this transformation, this result. 
Yeah. And Morelli says, yes, the expert exclusive. I like it. And Rebecca says, ooh, be the Louis Vuitton of your market. Yeah, didn't that feel good? Right? Better than the Walmart. Nobody wants that. So it's about really putting a lot of value into these beautiful packages that you're going to put together, these offers. Then, of course, pricing is based not on the time it took you to put this thing together, right? Or whether it's an eight week something or a year long something, or even a one day type thing, like a VIP opportunity. It's not based on time. Your pricing is based on the value of the transformation, right? So for health coaches out there, what is the value? Think about this, ladies. What? And I get so excited. Can you hear the passion in my voice? What's the value when you teach a woman the skills to change her life and not only lose a few pounds, but live a healthy lifestyle and cook meals that her family loves? And, um, you know, she has a whole new life where she looks at herself in the mirror and she loves it. And it's not just about looking good, but it's feeling good and being able to do things with her children and grandchildren. What is the value of that? And yet we're afraid to price what we do at five grand. Are you kidding me? That's a, that's a real life example. I hope that hits home. Okay, so packaging, pricing, and positioning. We don't need to be in front of everybody. Okay, what you do need with respect to positioning is you need to be in front of the right people in the right place at the right time. And when you're strategic and you approach it intentionally, you can do that. And again, on this step, get this right and you will easily hit consistent five figure months. I kid you not, I've seen it, I've done it myself. Okay product creation. That was step three. So I want to go back to that math example we did early on. Okay. So before we had a monthly revenue goal of five grand, I upped it a little bit here. Okay. Let's say you want to make $10,000 months and your offer is still 5,000. Great. You only need two clients, two clients in 30 days that you need to bring on to hit your 10 K goal. Okay. And again, given this one in six conversion that's industry standard, you would need to have, do the math, six times two, two clients you need that month. You need to have 12 conversations a month or three, three conversations with the right people every week, one every other day. Do you see how when we break it down, how the what may seem impossible now is absolutely possible. And I really want to see this in the comments. Do you see that this is possible and possible for you? I hope so. And I hope to see this light up in just a moment as the delay catches up. All right, moving on to step four. Now we're talking about audience creation. And here, ladies, oh my goodness, quality over quantity. Okay. There are two ways to build your audience. You got to pay for it like with Facebook ads and Google ads and things like that, or you can earn your audience, okay? And either is fine. But in the beginning, you know, um, I'm not really a proponent of Facebook ads for those earlier on in their business because you you can't put money behind something that isn't dialed in. I'm going to repeat that. You can't put money into something that's not proven and think you're going to get better results. If your offer is not dialed in, I don't care how much money you throw at it. That doesn't mean you're going to get more clients and you probably won't. If you you throw money at something, but you don't have your messaging dialed in, then you're just like hitting spaghetti against the wall and seeing what happens. That's not an effective way to run your business. That is not how a thriving CEO operates. Okay. Morelli says earned audience sounds right, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with a paid uh, advertising campaign to get more clients, but you need to have so much more in place before you're ready for that. Not the least of which is your offer, right? And to be well positioned in the marketplace. So let's talk about that earned audience creation. How do you get there? Well, you're doing what I'm doing now. You serve, you give value, you love on your target audience, right? And you engage with them. If all you're doing is posting on social media without having conversations, you're really working hard and not working smart. 
I have to tell you that in love. Because how you build an audience is you build authentic relationships, you build community, right? If you have a Facebook group like mine, um, and you build relationships one at a time, just like any other relationship you have with your family, with your friends, okay? So here are the mistakes I see when it comes to audience creation. Constantly pitching in the DMs and in your social posts. There's a time for you know putting your offer out there, absolutely. But when you first connect with somebody, please, please treat others the way you wanna be treated and do not say, hi, great to be connected. I have this great offer, you ready? Oh my goodness. With my Academy members on Monday, I shared with them a DM I got. It was absolutely disgusting. Uh, we had some back and forth, she and I, because I called her out on, you know, how rude it was to come pitch me right out of the gate. And it was just her re reply was just, yeah, surprising. But I see this all the time. What other mistakes do I see in the way of audience creation? Money, 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 money being thrown out the window. And I hate that. I, I, I can't even tell you how much I hate to see that. Investing in Facebook ads before you're ready. Expensive software that you, you know, you've seen from different things that are popping up in your feed. Oh, you need this. This is going to be the, the, the key to making it in business, right? You spend money hiring piecemeal experts. There's nobody, there's no one coach or mentor that is overseeing the entire framework for the business as a whole, you know, so you hire, you know, this mindset coach and, and then, and then you invest in this course over here on marketing. And then you feel like social media, well, everybody says you have to be on social media. So now I'm going to invest in this little thing over here. And, and do you understand what I'm saying? You're piecemealing your business, but you don't have a cohesive understanding of how it all fits together. Right. If I'm hitting any buttons here, I'd love to see some love because I, I, this is what I'm finding as I'm talking to people every day, right? Another mistake is complexity. You have these elaborate opt-in pages and, and these funnels, and it doesn't have to be like that yet. When you scale, absolutely, go for it. When you've got this revenue coming in month after month, okay? And when then you expand, once you've started high and now you're ready to backfill with some of those lower offers, great funnels, great. Let it, let, let this um, machine work, if you will. But you don't have to do that in the beginning. Okay. You don't need that complexity. So step five is the monetizing. Selectively, confidently having conversations, right? Putting your offer out there. So there are three daily non-negotiables that you need to do in your business, okay? Connect calls, consults or sales conversations and outreaches, which are meaningful comments in social or DMs or other ways to outreach like through telephone, ta-da, through Zoom calls, whatever, right? So there's three um, buckets, if you will, of daily I guess non-negotiables, but I want to say is these are all ways to connect. You need to connect daily with the right people, not the tire kickers, right? Your ideal client. That's why you need to know who the heck they are, right? You need to have meaningful conversations with those that are your ideal client. And only then, only when you have all of those steps, can you then automate and scale right? Because you can only scale what's working. And that's what I was alluding to with the Facebook ads. Once you get all of this dialed in, and then you start doing Facebook ads because your messaging is great and your offer, people really want it, the right people, right? We don't care about those that aren't the right people. But only when all this is dialed in, then we know it's working. Now let's do the Facebook ads, okay? And do all the testing that's involved. Okay, so Marilyn says, very true, awesome advice. And Karen says, I'm soaking all this in. All right. And Morelli says, yeah, same. Okay, so you can do this. So here's the deal. You get to decide. Don't you love? Doesn't that feel empowering? You get to decide what to focus on. In your business, do you want to focus on high volume, lots and lots, thousands a month, high volume, or do you want to focus on high touch, Right. Because if you have, instead of thousands going through your course, if you get to work with two, two highly uh, motivated, 
high achievers committed to, you know, really diving in and working with you, the high touch, doesn't that feel better? And don't you think those two, that high touch model, don't you think those two clients of yours are going to get the results that you promised? Because they're going to show up and they're going to show up big time because they've invested. And the reason they invested at that level is because they were serious and they're ready to roll up their sleeves and get to it. So what do you want to focus on? High volume or high touch? Do you want to focus on chasing leads, like hundreds, maybe thousands of leads, or do you want to focus on creating an expert brand, right? I mean, do you want to chase down people? Or do you want to position yourself so well in the market that people are like chasing you? What do you want to focus on? Low impact. Okay, I'm going to give you this course because it's easy for me to, you know, um, it's put together. Now it's on Evergreen and, and you know, uh, but, you know, what is, the, what is the percentage of people that actually finish courses? I think it's like less than 5%. So that means low impact on people's lives with that course. So do you want that low impact or do you prefer high impact, that high touch model where your people are really getting results? Again, you get to decide. And I want you to always remember, ladies, that running your business is supposed to be fun. Why do we go into business? A lot of it is not just you know service, of course, of course, that we want to help people but also for freedom, financial freedom and time freedom. And so, you know, you can get there with this high end model. It's totally doable, right? You got to believe it first. But as you do it business in this way, it's absolutely joy filled every day. You're working with the right people. You're doing what God wants you to do. And by the way, when you work it in this way, when your revenue is such that it's at this higher level, then you can maybe offer scholarships and serve those who might not otherwise be able to afford you. Because look, if it's value for value, right? That's what the marketplace is about, value for value. You're giving big value. You can't give it away for pennies, okay? So are you excited? I wanna know, pop it in, let me see some love. Are you excited, ladies? Because if you want to create your high ticket offer, right? You want to curate the best package for you and your clients. You want to establish the right price point, right? You want to finesse your brand messaging. I have a special invitation for you. I'm putting together something very special. I call it the packaging, pricing, and messaging intensive. And it will be intensive, okay? Because in six weeks, we're going to accomplish everything we've talked about, okay? And it involves live trainings with me every week. There's an element, of course, of group coaching and the one-on-one support with me, with me. Again, if you're in the academy, no need to apply. You're already in. But I'm looking for 20 ladies outside of the academy. Maybe I know there were a bunch of ladies that were on the fence about jumping into the academy, Some of you said it was price. Some of you said it was timing, but I wanted to offer this as an alternative to really get your business going. Because here's the thing. It's exciting to think that I want you to close your eyes right now. I really want you to close your eyes right now. No matter if you're live or on the replay, close your eyes. I want you to imagine that you go through these six weeks with me, which begins late July. And I want you to imagine that you end the year in 2021 with $30,000 generated or $50,000, even $100,000. It is possible. So I want you to imagine whatever your revenue goal is for this year. I want you to imagine hitting that goal. How does that feel? Amazing, right? So this is exactly what's possible when you jump in to this special packaging, pricing, and messaging intensive, okay? Now, I want to be clear about who this is for and who it isn't for, okay? Because I just said we don't have time to mess around with tire kickers, and I walk my talk. So this is for you if you're a go-getter, if you're a self-starter. 
if you promise to do the work, if you're coachable, okay? I don't want to hear, ah, I've heard that next. No, no, no. You've got to be willing to be coachable and do what I tell you to do, okay? This is also for you if you're ready to fully embrace who the Lord God himself made you to be, okay? He made you to be that powerhouse. And so if you're ready to really step into who you are in him, this is for you. If you're excited to hit six figures, okay? Or if, as I said, if you're at six figures now and you, you kind of reach that plateau, you can't get past it. Oh my goodness, you're going to love this. And finally, if you are ready to pursue the impossible, you need to apply. Now, when you're saying, Judy, what's the application? Okay, it's a very simple type of application. It should take about, I don't know, less than five minutes to fill out. It's a questionnaire, basically. bit.ly slash capital P, capital P, capital M, intensive with a capital I, okay? bit.ly slash PPM intensive for packaging, pricing, and messaging intensive, okay? Now, this is not for you, and please do not apply. And I mean that. Please do not apply. Don't waste your time, or frankly, mine, okay? If you are not motivated, if you are not committed to growing your business, if you're kind of a hobbyist and just kind of playing around, right? Eh, we'll see what happens. I'm sorry. I, this is program is not for you. Okay. It's higher level than you right now. This is not for you. If you have a victim mentality, right? Who, you know, you're constantly saying, well, was me. This is not for you. If you are to make excuses. Okay. Or if you don't want to take responsibility for yourself and your life and your business, that's not, this is not for you. And finally, if you do not believe that anything is possible with the Lord God, then this is totally not for you. And by the way, if you do not uh, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is not for you. Because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He is the Lord of my life. He is the Lord of my business. Hallelujah. And so Jesus is talked about a lot because he is me. I am. He and I are one. I can't, I can't remove them and I wouldn't want to. Okay. So if you are the person that I described two slides ago, I want you to apply. Okay. Because my Academy members, they don't even know about this. They're going to be so excited when I, when I tell them that this is coming. Uh, so they're all in, they're going to be jumping off the wall at this. Okay. But I want to bring in another 20 ladies in the beta group. Okay. So if that is you, you are motivated. You are ready to do the work. You're ready to hit those consistent five-figure months to get you to six months and beyond. Then there's only two steps. First is complete the application, right? Bit.ly slash PPM intensive. And step two, I'm going to be in touch and we're going to have a conversation. We're going to have a chat and we're going to, I'm going to tell you more about what's involved besides the weekly live trainings with me, the group coaching and the one-on-one -on -one support that's going to be ongoing inside a Facebook group and elsewhere. Um, but, you know, on that call, we're going to decide together if it's a fit. And if it's not, no worries. We'll always be friends. But that conversation is important because there's just too much involved. And I need to sit with you, chat with you, and determine with you whether it's a fit. So, again, it's called the Packaging, Pricing, and Messaging Intensive. It begins late July 2021. I'm so excited to work with those who are ready to do the work and actually get their business going and hit their business goals, even if you're at zero now, sister. If you do what I'm going to tell you to do inside this program, the possibilities are endless, right? So if you believe that, complete that application. And it's funny, I do want to say that I had put the bit.ly link and a little bit of verbiage inside this descriptor, um, but Facebook is, you know, they're tightening the reins. They did not allow me to do that so that I was live, but in effect, you couldn't see me. So like, what's the point? So interesting how things are changing. This is why ladies now more than ever, we need, need, need to be intentional about creating and growing that email list and not relying on social. Social is a great marketing tool, but we can't have all of our eggs in that basket. Okay. So Marilyn says, very true. Awesome advice. Karen says, yes. And amen. Morelli says, very excited. And Marilyn says, always excited. All right, ladies, I can't wait to read all of your applications. I am on vacation as of Saturday.
So you may not hear from me uh, right away, but never fear if you apply me or someone from my team will be in touch with you very, very soon. So thank you ladies for watching. I always want to hear your feedback, so don't hesitate to um, reach out to me. I'm at Judy Weber Co. everywhere on every social platform, LinkedIn as well. Also, if you're listening to this on the She Is Extraordinary podcast and you've enjoyed this episode, would you do me a favor? Would you please take a moment and subscribe so you don't miss another episode? And also, if you would be kind enough to leave a rating and a review, I would so appreciate it. All right, ladies. Oh, thank you, Karen. I will enjoy this vacation. Mwah. I love you, ladies. I will hope to talk to you real soon. God bless. <laughs>